How you doing? It's your man Phil Williams from the Phil Williams Show. United for Freedom. Check us out on Facebook. Man. Wow, it's been strange. It's been interesting. It's not even strange. It's kind of cool to me in a, to a degree. But, man, I'm just watching. And, of course, you know, I've been chiming in a lot. And I thank all you guys for your support. I thank all you guys for your opinions, even if you don't support me. To me, that's truly American. But this, this is what I want to talk about today. You can never have a show enough or talk about it enough to talk about how we got into this situation where we're at. How is it that the gentleman who is the reason why Hillary Clinton has a political career, how was he, he able to get people to not see he is the reason why you hate Hillary so much and you thought he was going to be better than her? How was it that Donald Trump got to run on the fact that if you elect Hillary, she'll be under investigation from now until Jesus comes? And he's the one under investigation. How could you buy into a person that talks about how much Ted Cruz is a liar and, and little Marco and all these kind of things when he has every single bit of the problem that he is saying other people have? How does this happen? That's what I want to talk about today. I want to show you that it's not a Trump phenomenon. Trump is just the one who's bringing it out so we can talk about it. It's a political phenomenon. This has been in the making for 40 and 50 years. It's probably even longer than that. Ever since the Democrats lost their precious slaves, this has been in the mix. They have the formula to we the people that only we the people can fix. You know what that formula is? A freaking campaign slogan and a stump speech. Now it's been in hyperdrive through Donald Trump, through Twitter followers and retweets and likes and shares and Facebook groups. All it took for us to give our country away was a campaign slogan, a stump speech, a well-crafted, marketed commercial. We are freedom's cheapest date ever. And politicians know it. The part that is so disturbing about what's happening with Donald Trump is we are about to repeat the same thing again. If Sean Hannity would have gave Donald Trump half the scrutiny that he gave Barack Obama. And shut up for all you people saying Phil Williams is a Barack Obama fan. He's a liberal. Couldn't stand him. Didn't vote for him. And I got the scars to prove it. So shut up with that nonsense. But I want to use this as a point. Donald Trump didn't get half the scrutiny. No one on the right that was supposed to be looking out for you. Broke down that man's associations, affiliations, recreations, appropriations, and misappropriations. The people that were supposed to be giving you straight shooter information. You guys fell for a Make America Great Again campaign slogan, which he stole from Ronald Reagan. And some speeches about building walls and, and locking people up and all these kind of things. And you bought it. Right now, there's a lot of people that says our freedom should be in the hands, hands of somebody that we can have a beer with. Somebody I don't mind going to a picnic with. We have people trying to rob us blind. I don't want my president to be drunk. I don't want my politician to be impaired. I don't want you to come to a picnic with me. We have borders to protect. We have Russians that's trying to infiltrate. I don't, the prerequisites that we put out, the kind of things we put out for somebody that's supposed to represent us is utterly ridiculous. 
And we're willing to repeat that stuff again. All the politicians that has enabled everything from Barack Obama to George Bush to whatever are still in place. And they're getting in place with their campaign speeches saying, give me money. We must save this person's seat. When are we, the American people, going to stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe? Caught a campaign message. We have to hold these people accountable. Donald Trump's of the world, they will make another Hillary Clinton to get you to say it's better than Hillary, which is probably the most utterly ridiculous thing imaginable to be said at this day and time. Aren't you glad it wasn't Hillary? Let me tell you something for you conservatives that keep saying that. If it was Hillary, we wouldn't be fighting like we are in the Facebook groups. If it was Hillary, we would not have muddied the line and, and, and bent the true meaning of true conservatism if it was Hillary. Hillary Clinton had no ability to redefine who we are because she was a liberal. If it was Hillary, Sean Hannity would still be the person that you thought was sticking up for conservatism. Mark Levin would still be the person you thought was sticking up for conservatism. Rush Lip Balls would still be the same person. Herman Shucky Ducky would still be the same person. If it wasn't, if Hillary was in. If Hillary was in, we would not have the right side of America sticking up for the only evil we have. It's no longer lesser of two evils. It's only one evil left. And we are the ones in position to stick up for that. If Hillary won, we would not be the way we are as true constitutionalists, true conservatives, true American patriots. We would be fighting her every day. Because it's not Hillary. We're fighting each other. While this orange dude is selling America out the back door or more so through the front door of the White House. How is it that Vladimir Putin can offer transcripts? So Vladimir Putin is in position to offer us an account of what happened in a meeting in our house. Is this stuff resonating with you guys? Is this stuff making sense? Donald Trump says we the people can't come in because you bought into that the media is haters. Like you're too stupid to be able to figure out when somebody, oh, then again, you might be too stupid to figure out when somebody's lying to you. You elected Donald Trump. Proof positive. My bad. Stop the tape. We can quit right now. People. The politicians are gearing up for their campaign runs for 2018, their campaign stump speeches, to come and tell you what you think you want to hear. When they, these people have not demonstrated they protected anything close to what we're supposed to have. We're about to do the same. This is why they keep screwing us. They keep screwing us. Because we told them how to do it. Just be popular. Be my favorite. He's fighting for us. She's fighting for us. But Barack Obamacare is still in place. So much for that fight. Now we got Republicans scared to death to impeach somebody. Where it's written all over his face. Yeah, there's other words other than sun-kissed right there. Yes, it is. Crickets. They're not saying a word. And the ones that speak seem like they're speaking out of both sides of their butt. Come on, people. We are more precious than a campaign speech. We have to show that it takes more than a campaign slogan to win our vote. Our freedom depends on it, people. There's a lot of changes we need to be made. We need to change who we're defending. Especially when we know they have violated. There's no perfect person, so let's make this clear. People make mistakes. I make mistakes. Levin makes mistakes. Lip balls makes mistakes. But when it comes to being a true conservative, they do not push a B 
big Republican mistake. Yes, Donald Trump was a Republican mistake. Rance Priebus, that was his monstrosity. That was his freaking Frankenstein. Because all the RNC said, we have to have crossover votes. We got to get somebody who's able to cross. Ted Cruz can't get crossover. He's too principled. Marco Rubio can't get crossover. He's too principled. Donald Trump is the only one that can get crossovers. And now look at how we're crossed up. And you guys are pissed off because we want to be against somebody that can redefine who we are? We can't speak out against the people that help sell this fool? Phil, you're a Levin hater. No, I'm not a Levin hater. I just know that Levin really doesn't like the Constitution like he told you that he did. I'm not a Levin hater. I'm a hater of people that shits and shinolas us. Oh, did I say a bad word? My bad. Shut up, you dope. I feel better. Come on, man. If we had Hillary, we'd be fighting right. Now that we got Don Juan Corleone, we're fighting wrong. And now you're fighting me. When I'm just trying to say it's us against them. They have not demonstrated that they deserve this kind of loyalty. And I know damn well Donald Trump hasn't. So in closing, get prepared for you to be sold a bill of goods through another campaign speech. Be prepared to shovel your money to somebody that you would have a beer with. Go ahead, get your picnic blankets ready, and feel that that politician that's got makeup, powder, action, look at the camera, smile, look serious, staged, prop, left, makeup, and everything, get prepared for him to tell you, or her tell you, elect me so I can protect your children's future. I haven't done it this far, but don't I look good?